All right, so this is how you can add an outline. But you can also press V to do a radio scan effect that'll detect pretty much any item or object that you want. So what you do, go to Blueprints, search BP item, open it up. In this case, we're gonna do it for items that you walk up to. Add a decal and a box collider. Then you'll add um, begin overlap and end overlap in the event graph. From the begin overlap, you'll cast to the BP character player blueprint class. Drag the decal into the event graph and set the visibility. So once the player overlaps, you can set the visibility and then just do the opposite on the end overlap. Make the visibility for end overlap off and on for begin overlap. So the decal looks weird right now because you have to add the material. Let's go to local Sobel. Not sure why it's called that. We'll go to the materials folder. The one I like is the five stencil two. Select your decal and assign the material. This is mainly for testing purposes, but you can change the color later. So then you'll go to project settings and search stencil. Change the post processing to width stencil. You go back to your static mesh. You want to assign any static mesh to be affected by the outline. Go to rendering. You'll do render custom depth. Enable that. Then you can search stencil. Change the custom depth stencil value to one to match the decal material. Now you can see the decal is working. Um, so we gotta set the visibility to off. So it could be set on and off whenever you do the overlap. Then scale your decal however big you want it to be and the box collider to whatever size you'd like. Go in the scene and test it out. You can see um, it, the box collider is a little bit big. Again, it just depends on what your preferences are. So I just make a, a duplicate of decal 5 stencil 2. Rename it to whatever you want. And on the syllable color, you'll change it to whatever you want. And you're good to go. For the radial effect, you'll want to obviously bring it into your project. Go to the radial scan folder, set the filter to blueprint class, and open the third person character. Then you'll go to the event graph with the events. So you'll have to create two custom events. I would just copy and paste the names. It's up to you. Um, just something that'll help you figure out what those events are. Pull out from that. From the radio scan effect, ROS, you'll call the MC radio scan effect. Then from the MC radio scan effect, you'll call a branch. Add the radio scan component to the BP character player. Or from the branch, if it's false, you spawn the radio scan effect to detect the key press. Go ahead and add a node for that. You can change that to whatever you want. I pressed B. It just made sense to me. Then call the ROS radio scan effect and plug that into spawn radio scan effect. Let's test it out real quick. Press V and you can see it works out. And there are different materials for the radio scan too. Just check in the radio scan folder um, in the material instances. You'll see on the radio scan component, you should be able to change it from there on the BP character player. All right, hope this helped and good luck.